I want to tell you a story that comes from Daniel Goldman and about a physician, a friend that he had, who was offered an opportunity of a lifetime to leave his practice, invest $100,000 of his own money, and become a medical director for a new startup who's going to focus on preventive medicine. He wanted to change, and so he jumped on it right away, sold his business, invested the money. Now, in the first year of the startup, there weren't any patients, and there weren't any people to do preventive medicine for. So that friend, the physician, found himself becoming a salesperson for the timeshare company. One day, on his way to work, he found himself banging on the dashboard of his car and screaming at the top of his lungs saying, I can't do this! I can't do this! Took a moment, straightened himself up, and then went back to work. One year later, the company went bankrupt, and so was he. Taking the time to realize and assess the situation, some months later, the physician realized the projections for the business were too rosy. And what was worst of all, there was a voice deep inside of him that said, Stop! And listen. Have you ever in your life were involved in a situation or relationship or a business transaction where the voice deep inside to you reached out and said, your friend said, stop and listen. Did you listen? If you didn't, how did it work out for you? My friends, have your emotions or your emotions will have you. I really like an organization called castle.org. It is based in Illinois. It works with the middle school students and teaches them basic skills about managing their internal emotions and emotions of others. And it starts with the traffic light. Analogy. You can use in your everyday life. Think of it as lights. First, you have a red light. Red light is a prime, is a signal to stop and listen and identify what is the emotion that I'm feeling right now. Yellow light is to label this emotion based on the database that you have set up before. And green light, what am I going to do next? I get it. We live in a life that is so stressed out. On your way to work, somebody cuts you off. You had a fight with your spouse. You have a problem with your kids. Your boss is on your way and your computer doesn't load up. I get it. Sometimes you want to pull your hair out. And in this cascade of, of emotions, of all this noise, you don't have time to stop and listen. All I'm asking is to take a moment and realize what is that that I'm feeling right now. And don't be like that physician friend who lost his financial independence because he didn't take the time and listen to the deep voice inside of him. Have your emotions, or your emotions will have you.